sometime back in December, I came up with this crazy idea of making a video of our senior class. I blindly fell through with the idea, and well, here I am working on it. I started shooting back in December, right before we got out of school for Christmas vacation. Then we stopped right after graduation. I really learned a lot making this video. For example, the girls are always shying away from the camera, and the guys are always jumping in front of it and doing silly things. Well, as for me, I chose to remain behind cameras and I guess behind the scenes. Matter of fact, this is the only time you're going to see me in this whole video. I hope you guys are pretty satisfied with what I did. I mean, this is the first time I've ever done anything like this, and uh, I'm pretty scared. I hope it turns out really well. Enough ad libbing, it's on with the show, so go to your refrigerator, press pause in the VCR, go to the refrigerator, grab a nice tall glass of milk, some cookies, sit back and enjoy the show. It's going to be a good one. just like to, to say that uh Mike uh so what what exactly is this is this film for we're standing here April 20th 1989 the back parking lot of Father Ryan behind us in a sunbird three lovely girls party time come with me they're starting to look they're starting to stare. Oh, they're scared of the camera. Why? Do they feel guilty? For what, though? Here we have Andrew Charrington. Let's, let's, let's have a word with Andrea. Andrea, um, could you explain uh, why you weren't at school today? I was at Senior Olympics. No. Senior Olympics. Special Olympics. Special Olympics. Uh, what event did you enter in? No, shut up. I wasn't in there. You won the high jump. She won the high jump. Here we have Lisa Einsman. Lisa Einsman, what, what were you doing out of school today? I was at Special Olympics. <laughs> Senior Olympics. Special Olympics, I said. Louder. Special Special Olympics. And what event were you in? I was a, a helper. I was a buddy. <laughs> you're, buddy. you're a buddy. Children. Yes. So she won the high jump too, huh? You won the high jump too. No. I, I was, no. Is that real? Wait. Wait, I have a question. No, I wasn't in the high jump. I was a buddy. <laughs> I have a question for you, Lisa Einsman. Yes. Will you be my buddy? Tina Shoecraft, you're on candid camera. Huh. What do you think about Father Ryan? Uh, <laughs> it's alright. Is it cool? It's cool. It kicks, right? It kicks. Whatever Frank says, goes. That's alright. Alright, this is my sister. She also goes to St. Bernard's, <laughs> which I'm kind of glad. What do you think about Ryan? Whatever Frank says. It's, Frank it is kicks. Our hero. He's our hero. <laughs> yeah, thanks. He's a god. We're walking now towards the bike from hell. Just just take a glimpse. Take a glimpse. Look at the wheels, the bearings, the speedometer. Here we have two gay boys on it. <laughs> one named, I don't know, I don't know his name, Chris Dugan, and one named Frank Hubbock. Camera. On camera, oh my god. No, 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 camera. You don't. Give me kiss. Get this on camera. Wait, 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 Frank, you hold the camera now. Is that on camera? Kiss, kiss me. I would never wash my lips. Was that on camera? Yeah. <laughs> He's got lips. Look at my freestyle model. Should we wave? Should we wave? It's awesome. 
I think I want to kiss you, Mike. I want to kiss. I want to kiss you. Here you go. Kiss this. Right here. Oh, I thought you wanted me to. Pat, come here. Do I not get to? Really? Yeah, we're going Let's go talk to Katie Lynch. Boo. <laughs> she scared us. Look, Cheryl's birthday today. Oh, happy, birthday. happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Cheryl. Happy birthday to you. Now, if it's an 82 watt formula with a GTA body on it. <laughs> and, of, and of course, Jack leads. And of course, the Jack. Car. Jim takes off and Jack is gone. He's gonna take it off. Who's this? Do it again, Jim. Do it again. Do it again, Jim. Jim, no, 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 grind. <laughs> Jim just got his license yesterday. Jim, uh, <laughs> perfectly portrays, uh, uh, hey, I'm gonna get in front. Don't you laugh at my Chevy. <laughs> Don't you buy no ugly drugs. Don't you buy no Don't ugly Chevy. Don't you buy no ugly Chevy. <laughs> <laughs> the keys are in it, of course, if you like to go for a spin. Look at the mud. Look at yeah. the mud. I dare you to get in and start it up back. <laughs> okay, this is the mud. I already did jack star. As <laughs> you can see, it's thrown on. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hello, this is Elma Flood. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Mad dog got run over by a Big Mac Walking to McDonald's Christmas Eve You might not believe in killer Big Macs But as for me and Felix, we believe I know, look at, look, just, just focus around Look, all these people, they're having fun while there's people out in the streets dying Living in cardboard boxes God, it's disgusting I, it makes I'm I'm disgusted right now with everything. A bump's house just got washed away. We're laughing at it. I can't talk anymore. Did uh, Mark Servant really punch out Andrew McQueen? <laughs> yes, he did, <laughs> with flying colors. Uh, what what flicked off the whole thing? Well, Andrew bent over, and uh, Mark kind of got wild. He did the old one-two. He came across with the right in the eye. It wasn't a pretty sight, but. Somebody had to do it, I guess, because Andrew was getting crazy. Hurt my eye. Mark Sturman punched me out. Well, I don't really want to speak about it. There's not much to really say. Um, we had a really good time. We were camping, and and we got... We, uh... Punched up, beat up people. No, I didn't beat up people. I was just... I guess I, I was roughhousing a little too much or something like that. Lifestyles of the rich and famous again. Hello. Let's let's get a close up right here. Close up right here. How was your yeah? How was your? It did. You jipped me off. Okay. <laughs> we jipped her off. Blew away, huh? Hi Frank. Say hi to me. Say hi to the camera. Hi camera. <laughs> well spoken. What? What was well spoken? What did we just say? The. Her boobs deflated. No, before that. We were saying the something or something. The Vader Vela. The. 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 I don't remember. <laughs> oh, the port of air. We didn't get to fly to Florida or anything. We didn't get to go to the port of air. We had to drive in the <laughs> in the car of Katie. <laughs>
How fast does the car of Katie go? About 85, unless you're in traffic and it goes about zero. <laughs> that was nice, thank you. The very earth shudders as powerful fists explode. There's more to come in the next episode of The Mighty Hercules. My name's Andy Bob, this is Tommy Bob, and Kevin Bob, the dumb mute. Yeah. And we're a bunch of rednecks. If you got a problem with skaters in your neighborhood like we do, you come call us. Yeah. We'll take care of them with the big hell razor. We're running around smoking that crack. They don't chew none of this. Come to us and we'll squash their little skating. Come to us, kill them all. Yeah. That's our job. Now you do yours and call us the Redneck. What? Senior lunch is the epitome of skipping school, but it being legal. Oh, <laughs> Never mind that. But it's a time when we can all come to our cars, like right here, and, and we can eat McDonald's and we can crank our radios up real live. Like that. You like you too? I do. Yeah. Okay, you guys, what do you think of seniors? We saw about 12 juniors today. And we're telling. <laughs> we're going to narc on them. <laughs> no, but we're having fun. We went to McDonald's, and then we ate here, and it's kind of cold. But now we're having fun listening to reggae. Best place to go for senior lunch, we found out today, is a soda shop. Awesome, awesome, awesome place. What do they serve at the soda Oh, man, original hamburgers and fries and big fat fries about this big. And you got some... Um, Strawberry shakes. Oh, man. My stomach's fat right now. I feel great. Lunch. It's, it's awesome. awesome. Yes. It, no, it's we all right. Wendy's. We went to Wendy's. We, we saw a bun. We, yeah, we, we saw a bun. bun. We were going to give him fries, but we could have got we mugged or killed. You know? <laughs> but, you know, that's okay. Now we come to the park where we freeze. Yeah. Where we freeze. It's cold. Dance, it's really cold. Eat and socialize. Yeah. <laughs> Is that good? We went to uh, Elliston Shake Shop. Best shake I've ever had. Oh, I'm still cold for it. It was? Yeah, but it kind of gave me the chills, you know? I've got the chills. Look at me shaking. I think senior lunch is almost as good as ass kicking Southern Rock. Hey, pretty baby, are you ready for me? <laughs> yeah, it's a good rock and that it down from Tennessee. Of course. But Doug there, doesn't like pickles on his but cheeseburgers. But Doug doesn't like pickles on cheeseburgers. Especially McDonald's cheeseburgers, don't you think so? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Hey, Burger King has those deluxe cheeseburgers now. Yeah, and Taco Bell has 49 cent tacos, so we might be heading there next week. Run for the border? One Run for the border, definitely. Six or nine. You want five or ten chicken nuggets? Yeah, it's meant to me. What has it meant to you? Ask me what's meant to What has seen the last meant to you, Bill? I don't know what it's meant to me. It's meant to me. Freedom. It's it is freedom, but freedom. but Half freedom. But more than that, it's like class unity. It is because, like class unity because all of us friends. We, it's our last. Can, can it's come, our last. Can come lunch. here to the park, park every weekend, Mike, and every Wednesday, and every throw Wednesday. the aerobie and get crazy, get and crazy. get burnt toast, get, get crazy, burnt toast, get toasted, burnt toast with a side of 
Well, well we're going to play. This is our last one. This is our last. This is this, this is, is like our last this one, guys. I can't believe it. But God, I love y'all so much. <laughs> but it's been oh, really fun out here, and I'm glad that we got the opportunity to do this. I'm glad we're growing up enough to do this. Here I am, reporting live from the last day at Senior Lunch. Are you taping this? Yes. Oh my God. And let's see. Here we all are at the park, taking a little break from the school day. Last day. Oh, last Beth, day is, don't lunch. you think this is sad? It it's is our so last day. Sad. But Jenny. <laughs> Beth, we can have lunch together every day. Next I know. Year. So we're gonna have lunch every day. We have together dinner together, year. breakfast together. That's right. We're break rooming together. together. We're rooming together. We're at Western. Western. We're gonna room together. Party in our room. That's right. Today is May 17th, it's our last senior lunch of our last senior year and the last week of school. And this will mark the end of our years at Father Ryan. Our final It's a sad day today, Father Ryan. Sheila, our love cashier, was killed in a tragic automobile accident. So today we're having a barbecue, and we're going to go interview the people <laughs> and see what they think. Jeff Crow, yo, what do you think about the picnic? I don't think nothing about it because I'm not eating because I'm a poor boy. The lovely smorgasbord of wonderful good things to eat prepared to us uh, for us by the uh, Canteen Corporation. So, how would you say the burgers are coming along? Burgers are coming along very good. Uh, we got them any way you like them. We got them rare, medium rare, uh, medium well done. We'll give it to you raw. What about medium raw? Medium raw, I got that too. Dave, what do you get to eat here? Let's show us this. Uh, let's see. We got a cheeseburger, potato chips tomatoes and a little bit of coleslaw. Now did this come with it right here? Did this come with that? No, this is my cumberbund for prom. <laughs> Coach Captain. Let's show us what you got. Oh man, this looks great, doesn't it? Y'all need to be in line instead of taking pictures. <laughs> Guys, how many hamburgers are we going to eat today? Barbecue. Mr. Steinberg, what do you think about the barbecue? Barbecued what? <laughs> barbecue food we're having here, sir. Is that what you think that is? Something's missing from the biology lab. <laughs> Anthony, so what size batteries you put in the shirt? Oh, it says uh, double D. <laughs> double D? 38 double D? Triple A, triple A. How do you feel about this barbecue today? That's good. I need a dollar. <laughs> I need a dollar, please. Need a Somebody dollar. help me. <laughs> Folks out there, help me, please. I'll pay for your meal. Send in to this number. Huh? Send in to this number. 327-1419. Send Horace a dollar, please. It will run in front of the screen in just about two seconds. Send Horace one dollar, everybody. Everybody out there, send me a dollar. Thank you. I don't want nickel. I need one nickel. I know that somebody around this world got one nickel. Twenty cents for cheese. So send a dollar and twenty cents. It's twenty cents for cheese. All right. Excuse me. How you feel about the barbecue today? Fine, Steve. It's good. Did, did you anticipate this long line of people out here? <laughs> Not really. Yeah, but is it worth waiting for? Wonderful. Great, great. Mark, how would you relate this barbecue to trigonometry and pre-cal? I don't know. <laughs> you care to show us what you built on your better burger? Well, lettuce, tomato, and some pickles. Lettuce, tomato, and some pickles. Two dollars. Two dollars. Yep. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. What do you think about the uh, barbecue we're having today? I think it is excellent. I love waiting in line. It's very good. It's, it's what else do you think? I think I think I'd love I love building my burger. Mr. Lynch. 
So how does it feel to be a, a part of this wonderful barbecue by preparing these burgers? Feels wonderful, man. Couldn't just like I, just just like I'm on my patio at home. Can we quote you on that? Yeah. Except I got except I got a lot more folks to feed. There you go. <laughs> Dolly, are you planning on building your own burger? Yes, definitely. <laughs> what do you plan on put on it? What do you plan on putting on it? Um, everything that you can put on it, so I can get my money's worth. <laughs> How about you, Jenny? Mayonnaise, tomato, and lettuce. Coach Johnson, some input as a lovely smile. Some input to the uh, barbecue. Tastes mighty good. That's great. It starts with an earthquake. Birds and snakes and airplane. Lenny Bruce is not afraid. I have a hurricane. Listen to yourself. Turn world serves its own needs. Dummy serve your own needs. Beat it up. A knock. Speak. Grunt. No strength. The ladder starts to clatter with fear. Fight down. High. Wire in a fire. Representing seven games in a government for hire in a combat site. Left to us to come in a hurry with the furies breathing down. Five ten. <laughs> Come back in the summer.
welcome to the Jungle Escort Service. As you can see, we have a wide variety of women, all who can suit your needs. Our customers are always satisfied and leave with a smile on their face. Remember, satisfaction guaranteed, but don't get carried away. So go down to the jungle and ask for Rick Belay, the jungle. Check us out. At the Jungle Escort Service, we're always looking for new recruits. Father Tracy again is handing out ice cream to his students. We don't know what will happen if we ask for some and we are not his students. We will soon find out. Five or ten scoops of ice cream. Excuse me, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, excuse me. Father Tracy. <laughs> Should we just hold the mic up in front of the mic? Hey, ask him some questions, Sam. Father Tracy, yeah. how many scoops of ice cream are you giving out today? None to you, Sam. Sorry. <laughs> how many? How you many drop. dimensions? Will I you get? owe me. You owe me three. Yeah. You owe me three ice cream scoops. Ew, grab that. Yeah. Who's whoever this is? Will I get any attention? Five or ten. Five ten. <laughs> <laughs> Come back in the summer. <laughs> yeah, this is this is Paul Alberstadt. What do you think of the ice cream, Paul? It's good. How about, what do you think of Father's ice cream? Chip. What do you think of Father's ice cream? I give it. I pie. give it kind of like vanilla, you know. Yeah. I give it five or ten five or thumbs ten. up. Five or ten thumbs up. <laughs> very very creepy. Very very creepy. <laughs> very very delicious. I got five or ten ounces on my of syrup on my. Father, when I asked Father how many scoops that he wanted, he said, You decide, you decide, you decide. Do you take advantage of the uh, ice cream Father Trace has given out? Oh, no, I haven't. I am, by God, I'm doing every minute of it. I love it, it's great. How many scoops? If you could get ice cream, how many scoops would you get? How many scoops of ice cream do you want? I don't want any. Okay, Mike, you really can't get scoops because it's kind of melted. So you really can't call it a scoop. It's kind of like a cupful or a, too runny, you know, a squish. a squish. A squish, not a scoop, it's a squish. President eating ice cream today, that's right. President Chris Scheel of the senior class. How are you doing, Chris? Pretty good, Sam, how are you doing? You having a good time? Is the ice cream good? Yeah, it's yeah. pretty good. How many scoops did you get? I got two scoops, Mike. Did two scoops, huh? Mm -hmm. Just two. You didn't get any scoops, Mike? Nah. We're getting the scoop on the story, ah, Chris. I see, I see. We're not getting ice cream scoops, we're getting a story scoop, get it? <laughs> here we have the newest couple here at Father Ron. It's Brad Uline and Katie Bowles. Do you have anything to say? We just love each other. <laughs> Talk about your Nova, your supernova. How he got it real shiny yesterday. You mean three on the kiss. tree? Kiss in front of the camera, come on. I'm talking about my kiss. supernova. <laughs> Hurry up, I'm running out of tape. Okay, well it's three on the tree, it's 254 barrel, and she'll fly. It's a four barrel? Brad, your uh, lip barrel. is bleeding. <laughs> what about you, Katie? I don't have anything yeah, to say. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Found it. What's your name and what do you say? 
Uh, my name is Julia Langford, and I really don't have anything to say. <laughs> no, I didn't. I don't have anything to say. No, I didn't get any ice cream. I'm upset. Are you allergic to ice cream? No, I like it. Why won't you have any ice cream? Though? The line was too long. Well, I don't want any now. There are any left. Yeah, I drank a Coke. Get that out of my face. No, I didn't. Because I'm on a diet. <laughs> don't stick out of my face, Rick. Because I don't want to look like you. <laughs> Did you go to it? You didn't go to it, I guess. It. That was awesome, man. Yeah. <laughs> it was really neat, man. Get off me, man. Why? <coughs> Hello? This is Pepe Le Pew. <laughs> this is the Dick family. The ever known Dick family. Scott, Mike, Paul, the ever famous Jim, the Jeff, the Rob, the Tommy, Parsley. <laughs> and that's it. Well, you know. We're sitting here partying, everybody's walking around, money in their pockets, and there's bums on the street. They're living in cardboard boxes, man. It's sad. I'm serious. It's so sad. That's it. That's it. Serious. That's it. I'm just kind of walking in the middle of years. And I'm not. Soon sick off me. I'm there. Call me. Tell off me. This or this or. Anyhow. Excuse me. Could you tell me, like, like what it was like to be the janitor, like picking up after the seniors. Are the seniors messy. <laughs> Are the seniors messy? Well, see, we're, we're from the senior class. No, the seniors aren't very bad. Yeah, we're, we're kind of more mature than the rest of them. Right, right. The freshmen are terrible. You know, you got to follow them around. So, well, we'll have to definitely put a word into that. Okay. Uh, we'll take care of it. Okay. <laughs> oh, we're here live with Chad. Chat, the man who did not say anything about Fall Around before, we're kind of perturbed. It's the closeness in the community environment that just gets to your heart. <laughs> well, that's straight from the horse's mouth. Ah. Uh, the changing, oh, is this Bill Gavigan? Let's get Bill Gavigan over here. So, you, sir, in the yellow shirt, as you come here, tell how, how's your how's your year been at, at Ryan? Your senior year? Oh well, it's been exciting and all. Just tell us. <laughs> just feel natural, like at home or something. <laughs> yeah, I feel at home here at Father Ryan with all these people. You know, it's it's like one big family. Uh, Hugh, it's okay. You're on TV, but hey, hey, just feel natural. I can't, I can't say anything. I gotta get out of here. The women, you know, wait. Well, here we go. My name is Kevin Crowley. I am Satan. What about the, Mr. Women await. the women await me. Well, look. Bucks, but do I care? Uh, I'll give it to you. He's going to give it to me. Yeah, and just you want to give it to me right here? Look at all those seniors coming out of the woodwork. Watch this. This is this is I've only got three. He's got a ten in there, but I don't want to break Do you have ten. change? No. Did you see that? Three bucks will call it even. Here. I paid him back. What a family here at Father Ryan. Uh oh. What's going on, Mark? I uh, know must just walk into art class here. I'm probably going to be late, though, but Mr. Duran is kind of scared of me, so I'm not really care. Look I don't really care that much. Okay, I am paying a Oh, look, I want to get a little shot of this right here. Oh. That was from Florida oh, right there. Sexy. Ooh, that turn me off. That, cool. I look like a damn alligator, but uh, it don't matter because we did have fun in Florida. Oh, Tell my God. Beth is here on work crew. What? What would you get work crew for? Because I got caught skipping school. And they put me on a deadline. And he's not a senior. What'd you get work crew for, Scott? No belt. No belt? No belt. How many detentions did you get? One. Clean up trash. Who went to all She's on indefinite Are you on work I'm on with Beth, see? Because we skipped school, as she told you a minute ago. I'm gonna bite you. I'm gonna bite you. Here you go. Look, look. Wallow leg? Um, work crew is cleaning up the school. It's picking up the It's when you get in trouble, like in class or something, you go outside and you pick up all the crap that everybody leaves behind, you know? From, you know, when we come here on Friday When seniors start falling behind, you know? It's on it with me. Say, no belt. No belt, man. Danny, you weren't wearing a belt and you got into detention? That's right. How many did you want? 
<laughs> five or ten. I wanted five, but I got ten. <laughs> five or ten. That looks like a shotgun. No, it's a lighter. It is a shotgun shell. Here it is. Bam. It's between five or ten. Because uh -huh. I was doing something. My father chased and said, Do you want five or ten? I said, No, just five will be fine. So I got five. Okay. So what do you what was your assignment today? The assignment was the practice field and that was it. Really? Have you ever been Saturday before? Yes, I've been on Saturday before. What's your definition of a Saturday work crew? Or uh, just a work crew in general? Work crew is this filthy job. Somebody's got to do it. Or it would be a trash bag. Trash bag. But really, it's a, it's a public service. If you want to think it that way. Jeff, have you been on detention your whole life here at Father Ryan? Almost. How many days have you not had a, I should ask you how many days you haven't had a detention. I don't know. How, many, how long have you been on it this year? Uh, almost every day. I had indefinite for two months because I forgot I was on it. You forgot you were on it? Mm -hmm. I had to go from the reminder. Hmm. That's good, Beth and Tanya are now on indefinite. Wow. Mr. Landon, is uh, Jeff Chaffin a good customer of yours? Jeff Chaffin is one of the best customers I've ever had. Did you pick funny. up the trash with, with honor and dignity? <laughs> I can't say that. Let's yeah. just say that he has consistently yeah. been here. <laughs> Never miss a day. <laughs> and Mr. Lane, he's an honorable man, Mr. but Lyndon. give me a good uh, definition of uh, what a work crew is. Uh, work crew primarily is to take people like Jeff and Chapin and make good, decent citizens out of them. Now, sometimes it doesn't work. Some people <laughs> just don't mind picking up trash, sitting in hot rooms, looking at the wall. For those people, I don't know what you're going to do with them. Mm -hmm. school. Are the, are the majority of the people on work crew uh, freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors? Well, this year it's been a combination of all of them. And the seniors miss because of senior lunch and being late and skipping. Freshmen get put on work crew for out of, out of uniform and disturbances. And sophomores smoking in the bathroom. get out for disturbances and dress code. And juniors usually get on for parking on the front and dress code and being late. Mm -hmm. Well, do you think, has the number of people on work crew increased since Mr. Crinson's taken yes, over? Yes, it has, because more people are writing detentions for disturbances and being out of uniform and being late. I see. That's what I get all mine for, being late. Okay. Is that a real camera? Brennan, what's your definition of a work crew? Uh, I've never had a work crew. Uh, are you serious? Yeah. Four years, three, okay. three, but I'll be on a... 15 semesters, 15 and a half semesters here at Fine. I've never had a work crew. No quarters, not semesters. Uh, a work crew is this time where you have to stay after school a while and uh, it's like socializing, but instead of carrying a shirt, you carry a bag. It's really no different from anything else. You hang out in the back parking lot. Do you think uh, Mr. Langdon's doing a good job on work? Mr. Langdon's a hell of a guy. You gotta love Mr. Langdon. Um, yeah, he does a great job. He gets makes everybody work and uh, just get he gets the job done. You know, I mean, he uh, gets all the trash picked up and doesn't let him mess around too much while he's around. But when he's not around, you know, they're. they're what, do you what do you think about the loud stereos in, in people's cars? I like the way they go. Boom, boom, like that, you know, it's bad, it's so bad. This is where they go boom, boom. This is a song where they go, we like the cars to go boom, boom. This is a song.
6-11-12. Senior skip day officially started about 42 minutes ago. As you can see, we're uh, exceeding the uh, daily amount of uh, precipitation for uh, this date. Uh, we've been saturated with about two inches of rain so far, but that hasn't dampened the spirits of uh, the hardy souls in the senior class who've come out. Fred Jenkins never came to the office, but uh, that didn't deter anybody's intentions at all. They're all having a great time. This is about as much fun as you can have at a picnic shell with no food and two inches of rain falling and the winds causing the temperature to drop by about 15 to 20 degrees. But uh, right now, let's venture into the shell and uh, see if we can capture the essence of the moment and the true spirit and enthusiasm of these uh, almost graduates now as they celebrate Skip Day. This is what happens when you come out to Senior Day. But a lot of the people don't understand how to dress when you come out here. Put your hood on, get your waterproof hat on and get everything else on you're ready to go and have a good time this is Pat Stace reporting for the senior class I love you for wheeling okay everyone's leaving now because it's raining don't get so close everyone's leaving film the cars <laughs> there's our class leaving there they go there's Bill Gavigan because he's leaving because it's raining and they're wimps hey, look. And they don't want to be in the rain but this is Pat Stacy and Danny Bond and we're not staying we're Come leaving here. too no, and we're staying. This is four leaf on that. We're having four fun. Four leaf clover. Oh, that's great. This is a four leaf. Get four leaf. Find that. It's good luck. This is Pat, the ranger man. This is the luck of the Irish. Uh, <laughs> every one of these kids are tearing up these four leaf clovers, and we're going to stop this. It's great. <laughs> the Roby. Only way to go. Trevor guy here, and he's all shook up. I'm working on Elvis. The Elvis stuff, yeah. Is that about it? That's about it. Just Did you have a good spring break? No, it was spring break was kind of boring. Yeah. I worked and I watched Bewitched and Bewitched. Yes, Bewitched. Yeah. Daytime TV. Yeah. You should you should have called her up because she was here like the whole time. Oh. And you live close. To, that's two pluses. Oh. No, thank you. I've had mono before and I didn't like it at all. Oh, I saw this guy in Spring Break. So of course you had a good time. Was your spring break fun? It, it was nice. It was a good time. Really? This guy answered the door and like we heard all these girls say, Ew, look who's here. So we left. Oh my god, turn it off. Here comes Angie. This is Angie Edmondson. She's not going to college. Yes, I am. Angie, what do you like best about Ryan? Get the uniforms. Out. The uniforms. The uniforms. The uniforms. The uniforms. Best thing about Ryan, the uniforms. Getting out. <laughs> Graduate. What are you guys' Gra favorite teachers? Jenny. Miss Baker. No. Mr. Kent. Um, Mr. I don't Kent. have any. Mr. Burkhart. Miss <laughs> Cockrum. Miss Cockrum. Jinx. Miss Cockrum. Yeah. Jinx. I like Miss Lynch. Hi, I'm Joey Jansen, the site, the Hyatt Regency Hotel in Nashville. This is where the youth legislature is being held Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and this is Thursday. Let me tell you, the whole purpose of this is to intellectually stimulate my brain, and it's as fun as drinking homogenized pig urine taken from a professional. So what do what, you think about the seniors on the football team this year? Great kids. Great kids. They worked well together, good leadership, players, pretty good players. So, well, like... What about the football season just in general? I mean, you know. It's a lot of fun. Probably my most enjoyable season.
walk on land. Yeah, you do the walk on land.
The faculty and graduating class of Father Ryan High School takes pleasure this afternoon in welcoming you to our 63rd annual commencement exercises. We would like at this time also to express our appreciation and gratitude to all who have contributed to the success of another year at Father Ryan High School. We would first like to thank the parents of our graduating seniors for all of their love and support for their children and for Father Ryan High School this year. I would also like to personally thank our faculty, staff, and administration, Dr. Myers, our academic dean, Steve Williams, our athletic director, Mr. Murray Lynch, our assistant principal, Mrs. Strobel, our senior counselor, Father Ed Steiner, associate principal, Father Dancing Kibbe, lightly in the breeze, who was in trials right. by fire are given by the elders of the trees. Hatchlings take your places, stand away from home and nest. Today your maiden voyage, today your greatest test. There are no trick questions, the trick is to survive. Flap your wings the harder if you would stay alive. A push, a shove, a tumble. Feathers beat the sky, an exultant trill of triumph as we hatchlings learn to fly. Elsewhere flies the raven, with heart set like a stone. Calls rasping from the witch bird, stir the marrow of our bones. Be not so quick to judge him, through him a lesson shown. For unyielding in his flight path, is he to tenets all his own. To turn north to face the traveler, the doughty arctic turn. Stops not for mere exhaustion, though his wings begin to burn. Avian lord of perseverance, with the patience of our Job. Sky rider loves the journey, though it may span half the globe. The hawk can still remember, back to his younger days, where with the eponic horses, he would the fields of heaven graze, like bolts of feathered lightning through the azure hurl, to whom much dancing is given, in the sky. Much is expected. This profound statement seems to summarize our class's experience as we journeyed through our four years at Father Ryan. I'm going fast.